guys, I figured it out. What is up, guys? This is Russ here, Poker Russ here, and we are back, back for another episode of Legend of Zelda Shrine Hunters, where we take on the shrines to finish the game. So, remember how in the last episode I'm like, oh man, it'd be cool if you could do this, and I'm trying to magnesis it? You can literally just pick this up. And you got a laser, yep, you got a laser on wheels. So I knew this had to have something to do with this. So we're gonna point this. We're gonna try to be. A sh okay. Yeah, this is literally it. We literally just uh, we just literally have to wait for it to do what we want. So since I have it a little crooked, it's going to... But literally, we just walk right up the steps now. I can't believe we are this close to solving it. And we knew the answer, we just didn't know how to execute the answer. Okay. So that got us to the top, and there is our shrine. I can't believe that. Like, I literally called how to do it. I just didn't know how to execute. But now we executored, and... You, you knew I was going to make that joke. You knew I was going to make it. Don't even, don't even lie to yourself and <laughs> think I wasn't going to make that joke. But... We're going to jump right back into this. So, um, there's a couple shrines over in the other edge of the map, kind of close to where Even Tide was, that I haven't gotten either. It's kind of in an area we didn't explore too, too much. Um, I, I unlocked it off screen because it was like, I unlocked the tower off screen because I wanted to grind some stuff. Oh, is this literally like a garbage pit? Oh, it is. This is literally the garbage, and she's out here cooking in it. Oh my god, is that all the stuff she's burnt? Oh my gentle Jesus, I bet you that's all the stuff she's burnt. So let's teleport over here. Is that where I want to teleport? Yeah. There's actually a couple shrines right near here that I completely missed in my playthrough. Actually, you know what? While we're over here, didn't I promise you guys I would show you guys a good route for getting ore? Eh, we'll do it another day. We'll do it for. Will, will we do it tomorrow? Let's do it today. Let's do it today, actually. We're gonna go on a quest to get ore. Usually. So, this is how I start it. Okay, we're gonna teleport to Hatino Village real quick. Um. Only because I like to get sledgehammers there, because there's two sledgehammers leaning up right against my house. And we're going to need them on our quest. So, you're going to make ore loads of money. Hmm, that didn't sound right. Or you're not? Huh. The perfect dodge. Do a backflip by hopping away. And let let loose a fury attack. Okay, so we're the, we're back in Hatina Village. We're gonna chuck this into the wind. Nobody really wanted it anyway. It's down there all alone. We're never gonna come back for it. Even though our house is right here, we're gonna grab this iron sledgehammer and we're gonna get rid of. Um, let's get let's put let's let's put something up in our house. I don't think we're our house is full of weapons yet. So I think I took a bunch of them out for the Ganon fight. Oh, I lied. We have we're full of weapons. Let's um actually we will drop this, pick this up, equip this because I want to save this, and we'll put this on a wall. And then we'll grab the giant frost blade, and then we'll get rid of. 
We'll get rid of um this. It'll stay there forever. And we'll grab the other sledgehammer. Okay, then we'll teleport right back to where we were on the Mohajim Shrine. So today's episode is going to be Legend of Zelda or Hunters. That's the joke I need to make. But, if you guys like this kind of content, the const, the, the, the content let me know down in the description if you find this informative. If you didn't know this track for gaining ore, if you think there's a better track for gaining ore, let me know down in the description down below if you found this very interesting. And like, oh my god, I didn't know I could get this much ore. So we're going to jump right off the side of this cliff. We can also get some nice bird eggs here. There's another bird's nest over here, but as you can see, oh, there is there is eggs in it. And then there's also the bird eggs right over here. So we're going to equip our sledgehammer. We're going to go to town. So it's been at least a week or so since I've done this, so we should have plenty of stuff we can uh, farm up. Okay, from here we have to use Revali's Gale, so luckily I have a Revali's Gale left. We're going to slip and slide around the mountain. Luckily the weather here isn't too hindering. Topaz, amber, amber, taupe, amber. Right around here, you have some more gold ores. There's some sapphire, there's some amber. From here, I believe, oh, you know what, while we're here, there is actually a shrine down here. There's a shrine quest down here. Is it right below us? I think it is, yep. It's literally right below us. So let's do this while we're here. I totally forgot this existed. So there's these two, hmm. Mm. Ah! Sorry, I was in the zone. Do you need something? I was examining the stone for a moment. This place is, why are we so close to his face? Has a spiritual aura around it, do you feel it? Mm. I recently realized that there's writing engraved on the stone monument. I was trying to figure out exactly what it says, can I help? Mm. So you're the curious type too, okay. It's broken apart from the earth a while back. If you find the fragment, please draw a picture of them and bring them to me. I'll be able to finish my exp okay. The monument fragments, okay. Are they like laying around here? Do I have to just take pictures of them? Um. So they look like this. Can I actually like, no, I can't do that, okay. Um, there's that weird stone wall that looks very um suspicious. But I'm sure if we look around here in the sand, we'll be able to find something. I think that's pretty much what they want us to do. Actually, you know what? We'll come back to this one. I'm gonna put a big purple marker here. We'll come back to the Panora Ranch because I really want to show you the rest of this um, ore hunting. So next, we're gonna fly all the way up to this shrine right here. The Shea Mahorasha. Mashe I don't remember. You guys miss Monday's episode, good don't forget to go check it out because we opened some cool Legend of Zelda packs that day. Um really cool little um I say it's more collectible card game than trading card game, but I don't know, you trade the cards, I guess. It's not a playable card game, it's more of just like collectible. 
So that's why it's like I think it's a collectible card game. But technically, like Naruto was a collectible card game, but it was a playable one, and Yu-Gi-Oh is considered a, a TCG, which is a tradable card game. So I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna put in some put on some um warm clothing so we're not catching on fire. And we're gonna head right over. Actually, we're gonna head right over here. I got rid of the purple baby because I was standing right next to it. Um, that was down here, so we're gonna put the purple baby back. Okay. So this is gonna take us back by where we entered the, near the Elden Bridge. I'm going the right way. There's some ores over here, which is nice. I think I'm going the wrong way. Lots of rock salt. Pretty much the worth, most worthless thing you can get on these is rock salt. Um, am I going the right way? The Did I pick the wrong shrine? No, no, no. That, that's the right shrine. This is the right shrine I went to. I head down here. Oh. I might have picked the wrong shrine. I might have meant to go to this one. Yeah, this is the one I meant to travel to. So, sorry about that. Teleport to the wrong shrine. It's been a while since I've done this. Probably about two weeks since I've grinded out some ores. Now, it doesn't seem like we've gotten a lot of ores so far, but there's still a little bit more trekking we need to do. And we're about to take on a stone talus, so that's going to give us a lot here. But this is a really fun, easy stone talus. Okay. The Dakako Shrine. And now... We, don't, we get rid of this blue baby. And we're looking to put it right, like, right here is where we're looking to put it. There we go. There's some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ore over here. We got ambers, topazes, sapphire, flint, and I think we need to drop down here. Yep, if we drop down here, we have Luminous Stone. More Luminous Stone here. And then right over here, we're going to switch to Ice Arrows, actually. Always have Ice Arrows when you're in this area. We're going to jump down here, break some of this Stone Ore. Break this, it's gonna activate. Okay, we need to not be on fire. He didn't cool off like I wanted him to. Okay, there we go. Okay, he is moving around a lot more than he used to. No, we don't need to fall into the lava. Where am I? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, this is easy, and I fall into the lava. <laughs> so this is going to teleport me right outside of the fight zone. Oh, I lied. He's going to be literally right in front of me. Um, we need to heal up. I don't know why. This might be one of the stronger stone taluses, like... Because they're, cause they're, like, random strength. Okay. Well, since you're going to be a jerk. Yeah, 
There we go. We're just going to do some of this. Yeah. We're going to cheese it. Oh, we're out of uh, cheesing ability. Okay, I guess we're going to have to take it on like a... Take it on like a man. Awesome. And there he goes. Let's pick up this opal. Let's pick up the sapphire, or flint. Rubies, flint, sapphires, opals, flints. So that's how you take down the stone talus here. And then I believe... There's probably some more ores around here somewhere. But, oh, there's another opal. So, then we teleport. There's a couple more places we can teleport. One is down... Where is it? It's underneath. We were there before. We did a shrine right underneath here. Right here. So this one has about four to five farming spots. Like, this is just you teleporting around, getting different uh, ore deposits. And they res they respawn, like, every three to four days. In-game days. But also, they don't respawn as fast if you scum for them. I, when, I, when I say scum for them, you're basically soft resetting the day system. So like you sleep till you'll sleep till morning, sleep till night, sleep till morning, sleep till night, sleep till morning, sleep till night. They will they will spawn, they'll just spawn slower. So like it hasn't been enough days since I recorded the last the last video when we were in here. But usually there's about four to five ore deposits in here. There's one there's one that's growing back. So this is why we need the both sledgehammers, is because this one's wearing out. We're actually gonna port all the way over into the Gerudo. There's Gerudo Town. We need to go... Where was it? It was the shrine that was right near... I believe it was this one. Maybe it was this one. Car Car Desert. Yeah, it was definitely this one. Okay. This one over here is completely surrounded by Luminous Stone because to open the shrine, you need to place a Luminous Stone on it. So there's about four to five deposits of Luminous Stone over here. And again, you can either sell it, you can either turn these Luminous Stones into diamonds, so you can recraft some of the other material, and diamonds are used for high-level um, armor completions, or you can sell them to make money if you still need to buy some armors, buy some um, arrows, buy weapons, whatever you need to buy. So this is all really nice. Okay. So let's switch over to our other sledgehammer. And then there's two more spots. The other spot is right up here. The is, it, is it that one or is it? It's the to Moyatoma Shrine. That's the one we want to go to. It's the one that I showed you the other day. Also, it has the ore deposits right near the shrine as well. And then there's one more where you can get shrines and fight a skull. If you need a couple weapons, you can fight a skull. Um, he knocks as well up in the snowy mountains. So I think after we do this, we're going to go down and try to do that shrine, the one on the on the ranch. So as, as you can see, it's thunderstorming. It's going to freak out because I have metal things attached. Yep. Um, sledgehammer metal. Yeah. So we're going to switch over to the bone. It, it does things. We're going to we're going to remove this. We're going to pop the shield on and we should be good. Hopefully Luminous Stone isn't conductive of electricity. And we got some Luminous Stone. And so there's one more right over here. Right up at the top. The Major Test of Strength. 
And this is the route I usually take every so many days to... And the Stone Talus uh, only reappear... Like, I skip the Stone Talus, obviously, after I've defeated it. Um, unless you soft reset for a Blood Moon. Which, it does take a little bit longer, but the Moon cycles. Um, the Blood Moon is like a random on, on during the cycle. You can't cycle for it. But you can still soft set for a Blood Moon and just reset everything if you want to farm, like... Um, if you want to farm Lionels, um, stuff like that. So if you head over this way, right around the edge, you gotta watch out for that. You gotta watch out that we're not falling off the game. Literally just fell out of the game. Okay, so let's um, equip an actual bow now. And we're going to equip electric arrows. And we're going to equip our last piece of freaking freezing armor because, heaven forbid, we get frozen to death. I want your Moblin Club. Because ours is almost done. So here's some of the ore deposits. <laughs> Try to make sure they don't fall off the side of the mountain. Because if they do, they fall out of the game. And if it's nighttime, which is not late enough to be nighttime, there's this. This is that stone he knocks I was telling you about. And it looks like if I go over here, there should be a nice little Korok seed. So we're going to grab this Korok seed, and there's a little bit of stone... It's kind of poopy kind, but it's it, it's still amber, so I'll take it. And there's another one right over here as well. That only gives us flint. Okay, so let's throw our flame sword on. Flame sword on. Lord on. Ha. Oh, we have some amber and some sapphire in there. That's pretty hype, actually. So those are the th that's how I go. That's how I farm um, ore. Let's go down here and we'll see if we can um, see if we can um, do the rest of this shrine quest. Finding all the pictures. The harder he the harder to hear footsteps when it's raining. It's a perfect time to sneak up on some monsters, which is crazy to think because I would think you sound your footsteps would be louder in the rain because you're trekking through the rain, so you're splash 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 splash. I don't know. Wee. Okay. So again, we're looking for something that looks like as a whole Let's just get rid of these guys real quick cool and we'll use one of their arms as a weapon so it looks like a circle um, so we're looking for circle pieces. Um, I'm assuming there's like three pieces. Let's get these crabs. Um, let's check down here. This one's bobbing. That's weird. Oh, there's one. Okay. One, let's equip, equip a weapon so we're not, like, boned. And two, let's take a picture of this. So we're going to save that. Volt fruit, apples, and hydromelons. So there's one. Is 
this one over here. Let's go take him back one and see what he says. There's a lot of crabs out here. It's gonna be a blood moon. Oh, I feel it. It's definitely gonna be a blood moon. Let's get over here. See if we can talk to him before it triggers. Did you find a fragment? I sure did. I show him. Oh. Hmm. Some fragments are still missing. Well, keep looking. I imagine they have rolled down the beach nearby somewhere. Letter on a stone glows with an eerie light at night, so it might help try looking then. Link. So, so, see, I just farmed all that, and I can actually, if I wanted to, I can go back and farm that, that, uh, stone talus again. So it's super neat to be able to, uh, like, reset for the moon. Not, not that I just did, but... He said they glow at night. So let's go over here and see this one. It glows a little bit around the rim. Okay. Let's check up here. Like, I don't think they... I don't know why they put one up here. But if we find one up here, uh, then I know I'm wrong. See anything else glowing? Or did I stray too far away? I think I should might have strayed too far away. There's also a rock here, so I'm gonna pick it up and assumably there's going to be a core rock under it. No, but a flint. I think I use my Revali's Gale way more than any of my other abilities. Maybe not me, I, I do die a lot. This is the one we found, right? Yes, because this is right near the... Um, let me get my stone... Where else would this be hidden? So assuming we have, assumably we have at least two more pieces to go. Let's go checking over here. One's probably right nearby. And there's also obviously like where he defeated you. Oh yeah, we just had a stone. We just had a what's it called? Blood moon. Okay. We'll grab all this ore. Probably something over here. Yep, there's one over here. There's probably at least one more piece. 
We'll look around a teeny bit more, see if we can find one more piece. What's that? Oh, it's a shadow from a rock. There's probably, like I said, there's probably at least one more piece. Okay, we'll take this one over to him, see if, like, maybe maybe the piece that's laying there is that third piece I'm thinking it is. Take some yellow choo-choo jelly. I like that you have the ability to change the choo-choo jelly. Did you find it? I sure did. Okay, there's still one more, at least one more fragment missing. Okay, to Cape Cresselia or Soak or Soak a Point. So where are those points on the map? There's Soak a Point here. Okay, so we're gonna head, we're gonna make our way over here and over here. Cause he just told us two locations, so those, I mean, it's story driven. Um, do we have an easier way to get there? We do. We're gonna fast travel up here, and we're gonna just float straight down. <clears throat> Where's the fire? When a wooden weapon catches fire, you can extinguish it by unequipping the burning item. We're just floating off in the distance, hoping we eventually run into where we need to go. Yay, we're gonna make it! Probably. There's a Korok seed. Yeah, ha ha! And there's one of the stone pieces. Awesome. And that means the last one is got. It's got to be over at the cave. Urbosa's fury is ready. I don't even care about you guys. We're gonna lift up this rock. Nothing. I feel like the last one's gonna be hidden under a rock. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> he just like punches me. We just one shot the baby taluses with the sledgehammer. It's beautiful. It's like one of the weakest weapons in the game, but it's super effective against them. Okay, this is definitely where we need to be, because we got an enemy. Really? And you're both dead. So I'm gonna pay you. Nope. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Okay. So I know it's gotta be around here somewhere. 
Um, maybe not. Didn't mean to use our Bros's Fury. And that's a shrine we haven't looked at, isn't it? That's where we're going tomorrow. Because we're going to find this and then... I kind of want to just whip out my camera and just start walking around. Now we're on, now we're on the, the cape. The weather's poopy, so I really can't get any view. I'll grab you crabs. Um, let's grab a weapon that can cut these down. One, we can drop this. And two, we can drop this. Got to be around here somewhere. Okay. Well, I don't see it, so I'm going to keep looking off screen. I'm going to finish this quest in the next episode. If you guys are hyped for the next episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below in the comment section down below. And I will see you tomorrow on Friday. Are you guys hyped? I will see you then. Have a great day, Pokerus.